Okay, my wonderful calculus adventures. Today I want to do a triple threat derivative. It's a derivative that has the product rule and the quotient rule and the chain rule all in the same problem. It's great practice for staying organized if you have these multiple rule derivatives. So let's say you have this function and you need to take its derivative. So I like to start derivatives by doing any rewriting I need to do for the function to make my life a little easier for taking derivatives. So if I have a radical, I prefer to write that as an exponent so it looks more like the power rule. So the bottom I would rewrite as five minus x to the fourth to the one half power. And the top I can leave the same. I might put in a little product symbol there to emphasize to myself that these guys are glued together with multiplication and that'll help me think about, oh, I need to do the product rule for that top part. When I look at this, the biggest structure I see, the first structure I see is going to be this fraction bar. Every other structure, the nesting down in here or the product up in here is within the fraction. And so those will come up later. So as long as you can identify what the biggest structure is, then what you can do to start is write your template for that rule. So if the biggest structure is the quotient, you can start um, helping yourself out by writing the template for the quotient rule. You can write a big old quotient and you know you're gonna have something in the bottom being squared and you're gonna have four blanks. Blank times blank minus blank times blank. It can really help if you start with a template for the more complicated problems so you don't get lost along the way. And for the quotient rule, this first blank is filled in by the top part's derivative. So in order to take the top part's derivative, now treat this as a miniature problem. Okay, the top part is a product, so I actually have to do the product rule within this blank here. So I have blank times blank plus blank times blank. And how does that product rule go? Well, the first part's derivative is 2x. Second part stays unchanged times sine x. Plus the first part unchanged, x squared, times the second part's derivative, so times cosine x. All right, so there's our first part of the quotient rule. Uh, the second part in the quotient rule is gonna be the bottom part unchanged. So we have the bottom function, just copy and paste it in here. And the third blank is gonna be the top function unchanged. So x squared times sine x, copy and paste it right in there. And now this last blank is gonna be the bottom function's derivative. This is a nested function. Your outer function is something to the one half power and your inner function is five minus x to the fourth. So this is gonna be a chain rule downstairs. This little guy will be a chain rule. So we need to take the derivative of the outer function. The outer function is blank to the one half. So to take that derivative, it's gonna be a power rule. We bring the one half down out front and we subtract one from the exponent. So one half minus one is negative one half. And for the chain rule, you leave the inner part unchanged for the first part. So five minus x to the fourth, your inner function stays unchanged. And you have to multiply by the derivative of your inner part. So times zero minus four x cubed. So minus four x cubed is our derivative of the inner part. Okay, and then to finish our quotient rule, we put the bottom function in the parentheses and that's gonna be squared. No derivative at all, we just copy and paste it in here. Five minus x to the fourth to the one half, all squared. 
There is some simplifying you could do um, if your teacher requires it, but I wanted to focus on the triple threat derivative, how to stay organized for these crazy problems that have many derivative rules going on at the same time. Let me know down below if you have questions and what you want me to focus on in the upcoming videos.